What's up guys and welcome to Blackout Myth Busting episode number one. This is the show where we bust the myths that you guys leave in the comment section below. So if you guys have got any myths you would like to see featured in the next episode of Blackout Myth Busting, make sure you leave those inside the comment section right now or at the end of the video and we'll see if those get featured next episode. This week I have scoured the episodes of Myth Busting Mondays where you guys have left certain blackout myths and I've also took some myths over from Twitter as well. So we've got some really good myths inside of episode number one one of Blackout Myth Busting today so you guys can sit back, relax and enjoy the episode. If you guys haven't done it already, make sure you absolutely smash that like button to support the channel and show that you actually want more episodes of Blackout Myth Busting. If we manage to get 2,115 likes on this episode, we will definitely do another episode of this show. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button right now to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. My boy Chopper helped me record every single one of these myths in this episode and Chopper's also released another episode of Blackout Myth Busting over on his channel as well. So at the end of this video, make sure you go over to Chopper's channel. There will be a link in the description to his channel and there'll be an annotation on screen at the end jumping you over to his video as well. So big shout out to Chopper. You guys just sit back, relax, and here we go. Here's episode number one of Blackout Myth Busting. So the first myth of today's show is being sent in by Machine Mike. And Machine Mike says, myth on Blackout, do both players explode if you fly two helicopters at each other. Now, this is going to be crazy. So, I need to jump into a game with my boy Chopper. We both need to get helicopters. And as soon as we've got them, we're going to try and joust them into each other. Let's jump over to this gameplay and let's check this out. Okay, guys. So, both me and Chopper are inside of helicopters right now on Blackout. So, let's see if we go into each other. Will they blow up? Here we go. Oh, we just went past each other. Let's turn around. Let's do this one more time. And let's see if a helicopter bursts a helicopter will definitely blow up. So, here we go. Let's check this out in three, in two, and one. Is it going to blow up? Let's Let's see... Boom! Yes, dude. So there you go. 100% yes. A helicopter versus a helicopter will blow up. And both me and Chopper did end up dying as well. So that was awesome. Thank you so much to my boy Machine Mike for sending that one in. Let's jump straight over to the next myth of today's show right now, which is being sent in by Elysium Bros. And they say, myth, if you are drowning underwater, healing will give you more oxygen, resulting in more time. So let's jump over to another game right now. Let's get underwater and let's see if regenerating our health underwater using ban will in fact give us more time underwater. So let's check this out. Okay guys, so here we are in another game of Blackout. Now we're right next to a river right now as well and I've got a bandage. But let me just go and grab a trauma kit real quick as well just to make sure that we can try a trauma kit and a bandage under the water as well. Okay, so let's jump straight into the water right now and as soon as we're under in around 10 seconds time, our health should start decreasing. Now because we've got the bandage, we're not going to regen our health instantly because we're at 200 health. So we need that health to drop down a significant amount. So we're at 175, let's drop again to 150, let's drop again to 125, and now we can use the bandage, which takes us up to 125 again, because we ran out of oxygen, which drops us down to 100. And look at this, we're trying to use the trauma kit underwater, but it won't work. And it won't work because technically we are being hit every few seconds from losing oxygen. So as soon as we lose oxygen even more, and our health starts decreasing even more, it stops the animation of using the trauma kit. So there's no way of regenerating your health underwater with the trauma kit, but you can regen your health using the bandages, which is really, really cool. So there you go. Yes, you can regen your health underwater with bandages, but not with a trauma kit. Thank you so much to Elysium Bros for sending that one in, and let's jump straight over to the next myth of today's show right now, which has been sent in by Blackout News. And Blackout News says, can you drive a mini car through razor wire on Blackout? So I think he's referring to the recon car or the little RC car that you can drive around the map. It kind of looks like an RCXD, but it's a recon car. And the razor wire is just a simple trap that you can place down around the map and anyone that runs through it will be damaged and they'll also slow down as well. But will our recon car slow down if we drive it through a razor trap? Let's check this out. Okay guys, we've got our razor wire right here so let's place it down on this mini road right here. There we go. Let's make our way over to the other side of the road where we're now going to deploy our recon car. Now our recon car is now deployed. Let's drive it straight through the razor wire and let's check out. Is it going to slow down? No, dude. Straight through the razor wire. Literally has zero effect that recon car and does absolutely nothing. So there you go. Yes, you can drive an RC car or a recon car through the razor wire and the razor wire will not affect it at all. But there you go. That was a really, really cool myth. Thank you so much to Blackout News for sending that one in, my man. I appreciate that a lot. And let's jump straight over to the next myth of today's show right now, which is being sent in by my boy, the Golden Raygun Gaming. And the Golden Raygun Gaming says, myth, can you destroy a helicopter with a car like in the trailer? And loads of pizza emojis 
right there as well. Now, the only things that we can currently drive on Blackout is, of course, an armored truck. We can drive a helicopter. We can also drive ourselves a boat. And we've also got ourselves the ATV as well. So let's get an armored truck. Let's get Chopper to just be off the edge of a cliff with a helicopter. And let's drive the truck into the helicopter. Let's see what will happen. Let's check this out. Okay, guys. So we're back inside of another game right now. I'm inside of an armored truck. And Chopper is hovering that helicopter just off the edge of a cliff near this bridge right here. So I'm going to go full speed in the truck straight into the helicopter. And let's see if that helicopter that Chopper is in will blow up instantly. Let's check this out. And let's see if the armor truck is going to do that. Here we go. No, dude. It literally just hit it and did nothing. Chopper's still inside of the air right now. And it did absolutely nothing. But this leads us directly on to our next myth right now as well. Which is being sent in by my boy Earthling Evan. Who says, myth on blackout, can you land a helicopter on the back of a truck and drive away with it? So let's see. Let's get Chopper to go straight down onto the back of the truck right now. And let's see. He's landing did pretty well come on chop you got this boy you have got this a little bit closer my man a little bit closer and okay now try and get out the helicopter and let's see what happens he's out and no, dude, the helicopter literally just slips off. Okay, I tell you what, let's try this one more time. Okay, guys, this time I'm going to try this inside of the helicopter while Chopper is inside of the truck. So let's lift off the helicopter and let's place it straight onto the truck and then we'll get out and see if it slides off again. And then we've got both perspectives of this myth. So let's land the helicopter on top of the truck right now. There we go. And no, dude, look at that. It literally just slides away. The animation is so, so weird. So no, you cannot blow up a helicopter with a truck inside of Blackout unless the helicopter is probably really really low on health and no you can't place a helicopter on the back of a truck and drive away but i appreciate those myths a lot thank you so much for sending those in and let's jump straight on to the next myth of today's show right now which is being sent in by killing time me and killing time me says myth can you drop from the highest height of a helicopter into water and survive and can you get back into the helicopter when you're still in the water now i really like these myths these are great so let's jump back into another game of blackout let's get chopper to get a helicopter and let's drop down from the highest height Get into the water and see if we can get back into that helicopter. Let's check this out. Okay, guys. So you guys can see right now, Chopper is driving and I'm currently a passenger inside of this helicopter. So Chopper, take me over to the water right here near this beach. And I'm going to drop down into the water and let's see if we get any damage at all from the massive free fall that we are about to receive. So here we go. Let's check this out. Let's jump behind three. Two, one, and jump, and dude, our wingsuit is straight out, and no, look at that, we're straight into the water right there, and no damage to our health, we've still got 150 health, so Chopper, come back over here right now, and let's see if we can get straight back into this helicopter, and actually get into it as a passenger from the water itself, there we go, yeah, there you go, look at that, straight back into the helicopter, and let's try this again, because we dropped out, yeah, there we go. We're straight back in again. So yeah, 100% you can become a passenger in a helicopter if you are in the water. And you don't get any damage when you free fall into water as well. That's really, really cool. So thank you so much, my boy, Killing Time Me, for sending that one in, you absolute legend. And let's jump straight on to the final myth, the ultimate myth of today's show right now, which has been sent in by Bring Back Jug. And Bring Back Jug says, I know that a basketball on blackout can do three damage to a player. So my myth is... Can you blow up a helicopter with a basketball on blackout? Now, this is true. If you throw a basketball at a player inside a blackout, they will lose three health. So, the basketball definitely does damage. So, let's jump into Blackout and see if we can blow up a helicopter with a basketball. Here we go. Okay, guys. So, here we are in a game of Blackout. We're just shooting the helicopter right now to get it down to pretty low health so we can see if the basketball can blow it up. So, let's pull out our basketball and let's go for the shot on the helicopter. Dude, there was no hit marker. It actually looks like the basketball goes straight through that helicopter. So I don't think this is possible. No, look at that. It goes straight through the helicopter. The basketball can't even hit it at all. But I do know there's one vehicle inside of the game that does get hit markers from a basketball. So let's jump over to this myth right now, which is going to be, can we blow up a truck? with a basketball here we go let's check this out okay guys so me and chopper have been in this game right now for so long trying to get this truck to blow up with a basketball we must have thrown a basketball both at it for at least 50 goes right now and this is actually becoming ridiculous but let's keep on going and hopefully we'll get this truck to blow oh there we go no way dude we actually blew up a truck with a basketball <laughs> inside of blackout there you go myth confirmed yes you can blow up a vehicle inside of blackout using a basketball that is ridiculous but there you go that is the end of myth busting blackout episode number one if you guys enjoyed this episode at all make sure you absolutely smash that like button right now we will be aiming for 2115 likes and if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you click that subscribe button to become the latest member of the pizza club make sure you go and check out 
this video right now inside of the annotations. And I'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you for watching and peace out.